I'm going to bring it up and we're going to talk about it. It's situational awareness. You need to be aware of what's going on around you. Uh, guys, I can't stress it enough. Uh, I see you at the gun ranges. I see it in person. Uh, there's just some people out there that are careless. Uh, they, they talk a big game, uh, but they don't want to be safe. They don't want to be safe, and it's something that we should all uh, try to preach on to new shooters and even people that shoot all the time. Uh, you got to be careful. Muzzle. I mean, there's so many times you see those guys at the range, they pick up their rifle and they're pointing the muzzle in the wrong direction. You got guys looking down the barrel. Uh, you got safety that's always off. You got guys that grab their rifle and the first thing they do is put their finger on the trigger. I mean, there's a lot of bad things that can happen with people like that, <laughs> okay? And at nighttime, uh, things get taken up to the next level at night because you can't see what's going on. It's, it's really dangerous at nighttime. So uh, I really do stress this. And you gotta be, you gotta be careful what's beyond the, the targets that you're shooting at. So it doesn't matter if it's steel, uh, a paper target or pigs, you need to be aware of what's beyond that, uh, beyond those targets. It could be cattle, it could be a structure, it could be uh, traffic, it could be anything. And you gotta be aware of that kind of stuff. Uh, just recently I went on a hunt with Tyler and them and the neighbor's flying over with his airplane right now. They probably heard me shooting. You <laughs> heard me shoot. All right, but anyways, just recently uh, I was out with Tyler, T Mac, and Rich from Ultimate Night Vision, and they are flying two planes. Believe it or not, there's an airstrip not too far from here, and they are just they are playing around right now. Uh, but anyways, uh, so we're lined up. We got pigs 30, 40 yards in front of us. Okay, I got Tyler right here to my left. He's manning the camera. He's not even shooting. He's running a camera. I got Rich right here next to me, and I got T-Mac to the side. T-Mac's going to take everything that's running off to the right. Rich is going to take everything that's in the middle, and I got everything that's running off to the left or left of the group. Now, I'm fully aware that Tyler's right here. Tyler has no rifle, okay, and I got to be careful about where I'm pointing my muzzle. This is, all, this is pitch black, no moon. I got my nods flipped up. And I see him behind the screen, so I know he's right here, and he's not moving, all right? Uh, a lot of bad things can happen with this. And about two years ago, uh, I, I hate bringing this up, man. It's such a sad story, but it happened. Uh, uh, t about two years ago, uh, an individual had some customers out. I guess they were guiding a hog hunt with some customers. They had a group of pigs in front of them. The pigs start running towards them. They split. They go around. The guys are shooting, 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 and they shoot the they shoot one of the guides, and they shot him right through the chest with the chest with a 308, killed him dead right there. These guys had no clue, had no idea that he was standing right there behind them. If they did, they forgot. They were caught up in the moment. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on that you have to process whenever you're about to shoot these pigs. One, you're excited. Two, you know they're going to run, and then you're trying to concentrate on your shooting. The last thing that's on your mind is, oh, such and such is standing right here or standing right behind me. You got to keep that in your mind every single time. So, again, Tyler's over here to the left of me. I, I got pigs lined up, you know, reaches right here, T Max on the side. We do a three, two, one countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bam, the pigs are running. I got my muzzle up in the air. I'm coming over here to the side. Now the pigs are running. I say, hey, Tyler, I'm over here on your left shoulder now. Tyler's like, okay, cool. Now it's time for me to engage on the other pigs. <laughs> Rifle's empty. We're done. Muzzle's up in the air. I got my safety on. Rifle's pointed down. Now we're talking. Rich. Todd might be shooting the team. They might be shooting some other pigs over here, but they know that we're behind them. So they're just taking care of business over there. Good, safe hunt. Nobody got hurt. Everything was safe. I cannot preach it any harder to you guys, man. It's, it's real. It's real. And people do get hurt because of other people being careless. Because of other people being careless. 
you guys take care of yourselves, man. Uh, I hope this video can help a lot, help out a lot of new shooters out there. Uh, I, I don't, I, I'm tired of reading about these stories. It happens at the range. It happens on private property. It happens when people go out on hunts. Accidents do happen. Accidents do happen, so please be careful. Take care of yourselves, guys. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Get the subs going. Get the notifications going. And I'm going to do everything I can to try to keep these videos rolling. Thanks.